cannot be polarized. Yes, Victor. It's true. Yes, it's true. The grass cutter has no canine teeth. Yes, Bismarck. It's false. Oh no, Bismarck. the National Science and Math Quiz. Today we bring you the second 1A stage contest between Anglican Senior High School Kumase and Keta Senior High School. On my left is Anglican Senior High School represented by Upon Bismarck, third year. Wampa Mwafo, third year. Usukusi Ebeniza, third year. You are welcome, gentlemen. But you are so busy. You are writing and writing and writing. How do you prepare for the contest? Eben. Some of the things that we learn easily skip off our minds. So in order to catch up with everything, just jot them down so as not to escape. I see. That's why there's so much writing. All the best. On my right, we have Keta Senior High School represented by Kodol Vitus SS3. Agbaba Wilson SS3. Archibolos Nicholas SS3. So welcome, gentlemen. Last time we met, you said Keta was a place with sand, lots of sand, and a very interesting place. I now want to visit. How do I get there? Go on, Wilson. Okay. You, you take her through the Aflau Road. Mm -hmm. And if you get there... <laughs> okay, I'll ask for Keta. All right, contestants, as always, the contest comes to you in five rounds. We begin with the first and simplest of the rounds are round for fundamental concepts. In this round, I'll ask very simple questions to test your knowledge of basic principles in science and mathematics. If you answer your question correctly, you get three points. If the answer is incorrect, it's passed on for a bonus point. If a question involves calculations, you have 30 seconds in which to answer. If there are no calculations, you have 15 seconds in which to do so. Good luck, and let's begin with um, Anglican Senior High School. In one attempt, please tell me, what do the letters FM stand for in radio transmission? Yes, Eben. Frequency modulation. That's right. Keta, in one attempt, also tell me, what do the letters MW stand for in radio transmission? Yes, Vectors. Mega wavelength. No, that's incorrect. So for a bonus. Yes, Eben. Meridian wave. No, no. The right answer is medium wave. Medium wave. For this next pair of questions, when I come to you, I will ask you to solve an inequality. You will solve an inequality. Anglican, this is your inequality. Half x minus two thirds 
is less than 5 over 6. Yes, uh, uh, Buampong. X is less than 3. That's right. <laughs> Keta, your inequality. 3 over 5X, or 3 fifths of X, plus 7 over 10 is greater than half. Yes, Victors. X is greater than one, minus 1 over 3. Yes. <laughs> Anglican. Name any one isomer of glucose. Any one. Yes, uh, Buampong. Fructose. Yes. There are so many options. I've, I should have asked you to name more. There's galactose, allose, idose, altrose, gulose, manose, talose. Many of them. Anyway, Keta, in one attempt, in terms of functional group, what is the difference between glucose and fructose? Yes, vectors. Glucose is an aldehyde, whereas fruct uh, fructose is a ketone. That's right. Next pair of questions to be answered in one attempt. Anglican, what is a Geiger Muller counter used for? Yes, Bismarck. To detect radiations. All right. In one attempt, mention one use of a nuclear reactor. Yes, Nicholas. It is used to produce heat energy. Yes. At a clearance sale, a suit is sold for 350 Ghana CDs at a 30% discount. Find the original cost of the suit. Yes, Eben. 5,595 Ghana CDs. Welcome. 500 Ghana CDs. 500 Ghana CDs. A car dealer at the end of year's clearance sale reduces the price of last year's model by 15%. If a car is sold for 17,000 Ghana CDs at the clearance sale, what was its original price? Yes, Victors. 20,000 Ghana CDs. Yes. Yes, this question goes to both schools, actually. So to both schools, when I get to you, you have one attempt to name any three elements in the first D transition series. Since I'm coming to you first, Anglican, uh, Keta, you have to find different ones from them. Okay, one attempt. Name any three elements in the first D transition series. Yes, Buampong. Scandium, titanium, and vanadium. All right. And now, Keta. Yes, uh, Wilson. Chromium, manganese, and iron. Yes, that's right. Last pair of questions to be answered in one attempt. Anglican. Which part of the brain detects changes in the osmotic concentration of blood? Yes, uh, Bismarck. Hypothalamus. That's right. Keta. Which part of the brain is responsible for the regulation of body temperature? Yes, uh, Wilson. Hypothalamus. Also the hypothalamus. And that's the end of the first round. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Hello, Hello Ato. Number two, my name is Kansas. Yeah. Any day. Near the kind. My wife point of sale terminal near Jumebiya. And I be a Eastwich ATM. And our bank needs savings and loans company be a Benwo. Pacho transfer two hundred and fifty Ghana cedis coming back to account in Zimbabwe. Pacho ni Eastwich account number ni. Ni onyi ano onyi akron Eastwich card. Sa number wo Eastwich card ne chipe. Mama no usika no. For 200 cities, to your exams for you. Know. That's the plan. Not for 50, no bomb. What is it? So, person, you seek a mania. And one is so because we be a East Switch point of sale terminal. And I'll be a East Switch ATM. We'll be to my juicy and good card. So, I'm going to move. We'll be to me. So, I just say, okay, every bank and our service and loans company be a Ben. And now, I'm going to East Switch for a moment to me. Say, won't you see a man come for? Quite a good East Switch card. Say, see ya. East Switch. A quiet part. We'll be to me. I'm going to And 10 times. So, I'm going to Oh, Papa, it's tough. Oh, no, no. East Switch. Easy banking for everyone.
At the end of the first round, Anglican Senior High School has 21 points. Keta Senior High School has 19 points. The contest is too close to call at this stage. We have four more rounds. Round two is our round for applied science. In the first round, you were to just quickly answer very simple questions. In the second round, we'd like 